Hello! So I just got bored from waiting and I'm like thinking that probably my package is never gonna come. So while I was bored and waiting, I decided to watch a few videos on YouTube and I came across a Try Guys video when they like when they were sorting themselves into different titles of Harry Potter. Now, I am not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to Harry Potter, but I get the gist of it. I've never watched any of the movies, but I find some parts interesting. If I I mean I would like to watch and discover what it's all about because it does seem very interesting and fun and many people are like <laughs> they're they're addicted and they really love it and I just really want to get it but I don't but anyways that is not what we're going I'm branching out right now so they decide to sort themselves in the different houses and I decided I want to do that too so I here I, I done this Ta-da! I made my own account and I wanted to try and sort myself right now. So first I'm going to discover my house. Ooh. Yay! So let's start the sorting ceremony. Dawn or dusk? Oh. Oh, it is random. I would say that I like dusk more. Dawn is the sunset, dusk is like basically it's like morning night, I think. I am personally more of a dusk person since I like it when it's more close to nighttime because they don't bother you less and also it could be in your own little world and it's just fun. Like for me. Like when it's nighttime, people are quiet, and I could just be myself and do whatever I want. I could draw, I could stay at night, I could watch things I love, I could be loud. And I'm so sorry for my neighbors, because I might be the annoying one who's always loud. I am very sorry. But like, yeah. Four goblets are placed before you. Which would you choose to drink? Four goblets, well, which is... I mean, which are they? A smooth, thick, richy purple drink gives off a delicious smell of chocolate and plums. A richy purple drink. It's a purple, there's a chocolate and plums. Oh, well, that's nice. Or a mysterious black liquid that gleams like ink and gives off a fumes that makes you see strange visions, like hallucinations. Why would I do that? That's, that's bad, man. Okay. Is there next? It's a four goblet. Or a foaming, frothing, silverly liquid that sparkles as though containing grounds of diamonds. Actually, like the chocolate, the purple one more? Because it seems like white. <laughs> but like, okay. Or like the golden liquid that is so bright that it, turn that it hurts the eye and which makes sunspots dance out all around the room. I'm intrigued with the dark liquid one <laughs> because it's ink and it gives off fumes that makes you see strange visions. What are these visions exactly? I am curious. But there's also this one. It just smells like chocolates and plums and I feel like that's nice. It's simplistic. I don't know. I'm between these two. Strange visions. But like, in a way, think about it. Why would I even drink something like that? You know what? I'm just gonna give you... I'm not, I'm not... So summoning all my freaking logic, I feel like, of course, I would pick the first one, which is all about chocolates and plums, because it seems so drinkable. And I, it looks like wine, like gummy wine. I feel like, I imagine like it would look something like that. I'm intrigued with the- I'm very intrigued with the mysterious black liquid, but it gives off fumes and those fumes can be dangerous, so my logic says no. <laughs> like why would I do that? So yay, we're going with the first one. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? And then I'll choose a pet, which is like a cat, a toad, or an owl. And what my gut is saying, like the first 
the first thing, like the first time I looked at it, I wanted an owl. I wanted an owl. Why an owl? I don't know, but I also want a cat. Like in between these two. Because they're cool. Cats are spy and like, you know that. But owls, they're like, they have like knowledge. I don't know. To be honest, I'm just thinking of Haikyuu right now. Would I be like Nekoma or Fukuradani? But the first time I laid eyes on it, my gut already likes the feeling of this owl. I like I like the owl. But I also like this cat. So I'm very indecisive. So let, let me think of it. Then I'm gonna think. I'm having a difficult time. I don't know. My gut says owl. Because the first time, like the first time I see that silhouette, like it's like, it's like immediately, oh my gosh, I want an owl. But like when you lean into the cat, because I really do like, I, I like cats. Because they're, they're like me. I associate myself as a cat. Like, when it's cats, they're like mysterious and can be sly, but also playful and all that. But birds, like the owl, they also like the owl a lot. So I don't know, this is a tough decision, but I really need to make this now because it's getting too long. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm a very indecisive person and I'm a mess. I really love you, Kat. I really do. And I would always associate myself to you. I think if I was an animal, I would say I'm a cat. Halfway a dog. But I have to go with owls. Sorry, but I have to give it to owls. Boop. Oh, wait, what's this? If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take you? A barn owl. I want to research about these first before I actually pick one because... A snowy owl or a screech owl that seems like me <laughs> all these questions <laughs> all these questions <laughs> um dude screeching out man screeching out the tawny owl looks so cute though And then there's like the barn owl who looks like so majestic and well behaved. And then there's a Tony owl. He's just totally cute. And then there's a snowy owl who looks like he's seen some real shit. So. And there's the screech owl who's just. who looks. he kind of looks mysterious and like focused and all that. Ooh, this guy has knowledge. But they really like the Tony owl! I'm between the Tony owl and the screech owl! Cause I told you it was cute. It's cute, man. It's cute. But the screech owl. Mmm. I don't know. <laughs> um. Let's go for the screech owl. I just loved it for the name, and it looks like it's so mysterious and serious. So I have to go with that. It it calls me. I mean, look at this guy. He's really cute. I would love him. I like to pet those little feathers and all that. But this, the screechy owl, the screech owl looks like it's it, it, its eyes is calling me. It's like it looks at me like choose me. Or pretty much like oh no. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Tony Owl. I would forever love you, but I'm going with a screech owl. A muggle, a muggle confronts you and says that they are sure you have a witch or wiz. You are a witch or wizard. What do you do? What is a muggle? So, what do I do? Ask them. What makes them think so? Or tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call a doctor. Like. I don't think you're sure, my dude. I think you need a doctor. Um, I won't do it. Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx. Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. I think a question, of course. That make, that make me so curious. What makes you think so that I am a witch or a wizard? Because who wouldn't question that? Which 
it <laughs> let me just say this for a split moment I didn't like the first word I saw is like ignorant I thought they were talking about me and that directly hit me in the heart so okay <clears throat> Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Well, the first one, the first time I saw this one, it directly hit me in my heart. Hmm, selfish, ordinary, cowardly. When I first saw the word ignorant, like people calling me ignorant, it pretty much kind of fight me. <laughs> I don't like people calling me ignorant because, dude, I have a brain, I could think. Um, also, I could speak for myself. Like, what makes you so sure that I'm ignorant? I mean, kuparan jokingly? If it's like jokingly, na. No, it doesn't make it better if it's jokingly. The first time, like, I did not read the question and I just saw the image. For some reason, that just struck my eyes. Because I thought that was the result I had. I did, like, it just called me ignorant. And, like, what? I may be indecisive, but I have a brain and I can think. What do you mean by ignorant? No, don't call me that. I don't like it when people call me cowardly. Pero, I guess it also depends on the situation. Because there are times that you are, you can be scared and it's okay to be scared. But, I don't know, ignorant just really struck with me. I don't like people calling me cowardly as well. Because... I'm not. Fight me. But I'm going with the one that struck me most in the heart the first time I saw it because, well, that just speaks for itself now. You say selfish. Well, that's parang for me. Every person has depend it. It's not right to be selfish. Of course, it's not. But there are times you kind of need to be selfish for yourself, of course. Because it's like selflessness versus selfishness just need to find a balance between those and then there's um <clears throat> ordinary well i pretty much myself would say that i am not ordinary but if that's what you see me then whatever i don't really care which of the following would you like to study what is that thing mer people so mermaids and all that centaurs Great Greek mythology? Okay, now. Werewolves? Hmm. Vampires? Goblins? Trolls? Ghosts? Ghosts! Ghosts! So, mer people, you know, mer mermaids, but um, it's not that I'm not interested in them. I'm interested with in everything as long as I could learn something. I don't really mind. I mean, what's there to lose if I could learn? You know, what's there to lose when I could learn something? So. I guess, but though, I'm, I'm, I love supernatural stuff. I love horrors, alright? I love, I love horror, I love scaring people, I love hearing about legends, urban legends. I'm obsessed with those. I love scary stories, so I love Ghosts and Supernatural, and also, so I found Hana Alkun. It's like an add up to that for making me love supernatural things and ghosts. So we're going with ghosts! Which would you rather be? Mm, liked? Trusted? Feared? Envied? Imitated? Praised? Trusted, of course. Gaining a person's trust for me is like something I would really want. Because that means a lot to me when they trust me. When they trust me with something like this. Meaning they believe in me that I could do something like this. They know I could do something like this. They know I have the potential to exactly do and execute something like this. That's like the highest thing, to be trusted. Because even myself, I don't trust myself with a lot of things. I'm unsure whether I could do it. But when people put their trust in me, it's like saying they believe in you. They have belief in you. It's just a whole lot of support and it means a lot. So I would want that. Phrase, I mean, not really. I don't know what imitated means. 
Oh, so I just searched、uh, what imitated means. So it's like followed, to be followed, to see as a role model. I mean, like, it's okay to be imitated. It would be a great honor that someone sees that you are a person that can, that can, they, they can be, they can aspire to. That's really nice if someone says that to you. Like, but question though, who wants to be feared? Well, a lot of people, because this is what they say with fear comes respect, but it's not always like that.、Um, respect is something that's to be earned. So we're gonna do this. Select. Ooh! Black or white or black? White or black? Choose and continue. Of course, I would like to go with black. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. <laughs> I'm excited! I. Okay. Before anything, I、um, just wanna say that. For me, I find. When I look at myself, I find myself as a Gryffindor. That's also what my friends define me as. But for me, if it, if it was me, I really love to be a Slytherin. I love a Slytherin. Just, I think I explained this. Have I explained this? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna review all the videos to see if I have. But yes, my friends would identify me as a Gryffindor. They would often say that. No, you're more of a Gryffindor. And also, like, you can be very reckless, which is like a, a thing in Gryffindors, too. My friends agree that I am a complete Gryffindor. And also, I can see that in myself that I am. But I want to be a Slytherin because I just think they're really cool. But the Sorting Hat is now ready to make its decision. And I am kind of. Worried about every friggin' thing, you know? Because、uh, I. Who knows? Maybe it's like neither. And they'll just be like. <laughs> Maybe it's like neither. It was just like, it's gonna be like Hufflepuff or Gryffindor. Because, like, I don't believe it. I don't believe when you say that I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh, wait, no. I could be a Hufflepuff. I could be friendly. I could, I know, I could see that. I could, I could see myself in that. That was a lot of stuttering. <laughs> I can see myself as a Hufflepuff, sure. Like, I can be friendly and all stuff and understanding. Maybe, maybe. I'm not the best person who could comfort you, is one thing I should say. As a grief, Ravenclaw, I am pretty stupid, dumb, and indecisive, so I don't think so. Have you looked at how much time this took me to, to piece all together and what I want? Well, I'm gonna spare you the deal to say, like, it's a lot. Because I'm indecisive. And, like, I don't trust my brain, I trust my gut. <laughs> If you ask me, are you a heart person or a brain person? I'm a gut person, I trust what my gut says. Even though, like, my brain's saying, you know, it's this one, right? And my gut's like, my, my gut's like I don't know, I, I really feel like this, so. I'm just nervous. <laughs> Imagine if it's neither. Like, it, you are a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I. Either way, I think. Whatever your decision, man. I think for myself, I would say I. This is like. I think if I do say this, it would shatter the whole meaning of the video, but I feel like I am a Gryffindor. But、uh, whatever this, whatever the hat says, let's go with that for now. Alrighty. So, let's continue. You are a Ravenclaw. I do not believe what you say. But hey. Oh, wow. With learning and wisdom. You probably know some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members. I do not, and I'm not gonna say that names because I might butcher them. But did you know Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is least talkative Hogwarts or House Ghost? What is a House Ghost? Or the Ravenclaw's commonly 
Grinka's common room boasts the most stunning views in the castle ground. Share your house bride. I just want to say that I don't know these people. I've seen this. I see these guys. I seen her before. I'm gonna read this all. Congratulations! I'm perfect. I'm perfect Robert Hillard and I'm delighted to welcome you to Ravenclaw House. Our emblem is the eagle which soars where others cannot climb. Our house colors are blue and bronze. Yes, yes. Um, like you know with the blue and bronze, they say that the movie ruined it because I think they did something like silver and blue, which is wrong because they say it is blue and bronze. Anyways, and their common room is found at the top of Ravenclaw Tower behind a door which an enchanted knocker. What? With an enchanted knocker. The arch widow set into the walls of our circular common room looked down at the school grounds, the lake, the forbidden forest, Let's go to the Forbidden Forest! The Quilditch Pitch and the... Oh gosh, how do I pronounce that? Herbi Herbology? Herbology Gardens. No other house in the school has such stunning views. Wow, ain't that nice? Red and wise old Raven call if you've already mined where those are with the rainbows. Well, that's cool. So honestly, <laughs> this is unexpected for me because I don't trust this. But it says it's saying. It says that I am. <laughs> Actually, when I do look at the choices I've made, probably I could see that. I'm just like confused. I'm like I'm gonna be left puzzled here right now, people. That's the only debate I have with myself. Are you really a, a Griff are you more of a Gryffindor or a Slytherin? And then suddenly Ravenclaw just appears out of nowhere. Well that was nice. Well, I am going to discover more about this house. And I am going to look at look at everything. And I'm gonna dive, I guess I'm gonna dive into this. Harry Potter stuff. Actually, if someone has like the books of it, like the every every part of the book or something, you could give me the book and I would probably read it. I don't mind. It's like a pastime, especially now in quarantine. And I recommend for those to actually try this. It's fun. It's like discovering a new part of yourself in a way, and I really love that. I had fun. I hope you did as well, and you along with me and my shenanigans. So, 